the brand new Toyota Fortuner. Toyota's philosophy is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I have a 2016 version of this. This is a 2023. And it's exactly the same. The only difference is it has a lot of cool features on it. Like it has a camera here on the mirror. And it has all the luxury features that mine doesn't have. It ha this Mine has this. But it's exactly the same. The cup holders are here. The vents are the same exact vent. The door is the same as the 2016 version. But this has a lot of cool gizmos. Like it has a parking sensor. Mine don't have that. It has an automatic tailgate. It has um, lane departure stuff on it. Lane departure, adaptive cruise control, and cruise control. Mine don't have cruise control. Of course, this is the steering wheel. It's the same as mine, except it has adaptive cruise control and lane departure warning. Mine don't even have cruise control on it, but who needs all that? It has a, a wood grain right here. Mine has that, and it has a JBL sound system mm, JBL tweeters and it has of course a push button start mine don't have a push button it has a automatic climate control mine don't have that it has four wheel drive and wireless phone charging mine don't have that uh, what is it and now it's an H2. Yeah, mine has two-wheel drive. And then it has a, a JBL screen. Um, it also has electric seats. Mine has manual seats. I love, I love manual. Manual's better. You gotta pay for all that stuff when it breaks. So, forget all that stuff. It has automatic uh, windows. Mine's only automatic in the front. The rest are hold the button down big deal it has a uh, LED everywhere yeah uh, this is the same exact it's just leather minus cloth just like that to get in the back in the third rows fold up like that the same as a Land Cruiser just like that and you're in it has a manual running board and then it has an automatic tailgate, mine is manual, everything is manual. Manual is great. This is all fancy, fancy pants stuff, you really don't need that. And then to get the third row down you would just go like this, uh, just throw that here and then let it down and then up now you're good and then of course it's brand new so you have to these floor mats are not that good I put a hole in this floor mat with my heel so I got the new the new much nicer floor mat oh and you can also fold this in like that so no one bumps their head on it it's not really needed though and then to put it back you would just you would grab this oh, oh even mine is better actually Mine's an old one and I have a better a, a better uh, seat. Then you fold it and it's up. This is your jack and stuff. Somebody's been in there, huh? Now this is where you put the jack. The jack and all your spares. There's your jack. You gotta hook it in and uh, push it close. Like that. And then to get the spare tire you have to go through here, spare tires inside of there. Has backup sensors on it, of course, because this is the greatest. Oh, wow. It has a speaker on the back. 
The JBL. Yeah, mine don't have that. Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a limited. The tires are the Dueler HT. Tire. These are the Dueler HTs. Six lugs on the tire. And it has like... Oh, wow, look at this. It's for the keyless. And then the passenger is also electric. And leather. So it's fully decked out. Uh... I don't know why they put the JBL speakers up here like that. That's kind of tacky, I think. It should be inside the dash, but they just put it on top like that. But the glove box is so cool. Look, it's got an upper glove box. And then it's got a, see the vent? It's got a, you can put ice cream in there and it keeps your ice cream cool. And then it has a lower glove box as well. That's so cool. It has a, let's see. It has a diff locker on it and traction off. Mine don't have this. Mine has none of that. Mine's so basic. And then you can put it in echo mode. Sorry. In norm and sport mode. You got three modes there. You got a. You can do manual shifting here. Uh, in this little space, you can manually shift it. It has six speed transmission. Uh, cup holder, uh, and it has uh, down downhill assist control. Oh, this thing has heated and cooled seats. Are you shitting me? Oh, mine don't have that. Oh, it has a USB here too. That's a that's a type uh, type A USB. So it has. I think this is heated and cooled seats. Oh shit, they got that now. This is a fully decked version. Mm -hmm. This is an off-roading machine. So the blinkers are down low. So this is 2.5 million pesos. My 2016, which is all manual, is a 1.5 million peso. I have an automatic transmission, but it doesn't have the cool creature comforts, and it's 1.5 million, and this is 2.5 million. So you're paying a million pesos extra. And mine's also a 2.4 liter engine. This is a 2.7. But it's exactly the same. Got all these cool little features and stuff that will probably break in the future. So, it has a camera here too. Well, that's pretty cool. The windshield is the same windshield. Everything's the same. Even the hood is the same. They made the, uh, the front is a... Those are LEDs. A little more high-tech. And then they got a little fog light here. Front sensor. Mine, this is all, that's where your million pesos is right there. And is it really worth a million pesos to, for all these little extras? I don't think so. Turn the hazards off. But it's pretty nice. It's three rows of utility. You can put stuff in there, these seats fold. You can haul people and stuff. It's like a forerunner in the United States. But this is better because it's diesel. This is a diesel engine, so. Got a ton of space. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. Basically, it's like a forerunner, but the third, we have more space in the back because the third row. And there's more space behind the third row. Forerunner is actually smaller in the back. Let's see here. 
So when you put these, when you put the seat down, if you got somebody sitting here, look. There's a little extra space. Let me fix this. Okay. See how much space you have here? That's how much space you have behind the third row. So you can actually put groceries here while also having somebody sitting in the back. I think the Forerunner don't have that. I think the Forerunner has less space. Oh wait, oh wait. I definitely get, and then this, that's on now. I guess they shut it off because I don't want to burn the batteries out. It's got uh, three rows of, three rows of uh, cooling. Ugh. Pretty nice. This is only sold in, uh, I think, Australia, the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam. It's basically Asian. Pretty nice vehicle. I forgot to show the engine. That's pretty nice, Toyota. I looked at the price for the steering wheel. It was uh, 71,000 pesos. It's around like $1,400 <laughs> for a steering wheel. Uh, mine has uh, some wear right here on mine because, you know, holding it like this, the acid from your hand eats it up. But they changed the material. The material is like a leather now. Well, this is a upgraded version, so that's why it's probably nicer. Um, I forgot to show the console. It's fairly deep. Let's see, measure it. About like that. Oh wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. LEDs. And look at that, it looks so nice. Mine don't have all that fancy stuff. And of course, need a sunglass holder. Uh, oh yeah. Nice. Like I use that as a handle because we're in off-roading conditions. We want to hold on. And there's handles on everywhere. Here and also there. And a coat hanger. So I guess to turn it on, how do you turn this wires, wireless thing on? Oh, there's an on and off button right there. But my phone does not support wireless, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> and there's cup holders galore. There's one, other, there's one right there. Um, and of course, the driver has one down here as well as up here. We have one, two, we have three and four, uh, five, and then the passenger back doors, it's like seven, it's like nine cup holders at least, minimum. But I was coming back to show you the, um, the engine up, and I didn't show a good view of that. That's your, um, if you want to turn your tailgate off, you can turn it off. Turn parking on and off, parking sensors. Uh, I guess that's your, I don't know what it's for. That's actually to uh, to uh, operate the back. And then I guess this is your view, because it has a, a view, uh, camera view. It's pretty nice. This one has a roof rack on it. They all have roof racks on it. Okay, your antenna. Uh, rear passengers, cup holder. Since there's plastic, I don't even. No, I probably don't want to rip their plastic. There's cup holders inside of inside of the. Um, this is a center armrest for the passenger, but I don't want to rip their stuff open. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Just leave it alone. There's a there's a cup holders inside of there. And the third row. 
uh, middle, the middle seat person, they go like this. You pull it down like that, see? And that's for your, uh, your middle seat person. Uh, and you hook it kind of like this. Well, it'd be better to show like that with a wall. And you hook it up like that. Pop it in and then this has to go in a, a hole up here in the front. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, boom, there it goes. That's what it looks like. Now that's stowed. See the little accents for tuner. And you're, you can't see out of this window because the seat's blocking it right now. Mm, it's got uh, front, it's got disc brakes at the front. I could show inside of here. Uh, there's your upper control arm. And you mount, it mounts like that. You don't have to go inside the engine compartment. You just unbolt it to get the shocks out. And uh, I don't know what you can see in there. There's a lower control arm down there. That's your steering rack. Can I even get all the way into that? Um, and then there's your stab link, stabilizer link, right there. I, those are 6,000 pesos each, about $120 each. I replaced mine. The shocks are $100 each, 5,000 pesos. It's four-wheel drive, so there's your four-wheel drive axle and the boot. Uh, and then this is the engine. It's got hydraulic assist. Um, here's your fuel filter. This is a turbo, maybe better you can see it better. Um, that's your fuel filter. If you run out of gas, you have to pump this. Because uh, diesel is hard to start when you run it out of fuel. So you have to pump that. If you're out, that's a pump to start the engine. And then you... Um, this is one of your air intakes, I guess. There's like two air intakes on it. Diesels are funny like that. Let's get their power steering pumps here at the top. So, and then your alternator is right below the power steering pump. Probably just better, yeah, like that. Um, there's your, and it's got ABS. Mm, that's your brake reservoir. Uh, and it's got a mechanical fan. Not electronic, it's mechanical. And it's got a tensioner, that's a tensioner right there. This is, there's a thing to remove the belt. That's your tensioner. And that is making a YouTube video. Oh. There's Tony. Where's Tony? Here's Tony. <laughs> there's your air filter. Um, this is for the turbo, I think. There's another air intake. I don't know exactly how it works. But this is uh, an air intake for the turbo. There's on both sides they have air intakes. This is for air. This is another one for air intake. That is showing the car. And this is a turbocharger. Turbocharger. And then your exhaust. Uh, coolant reservoir. Your power steering fluid. This is exactly the same as my engine, except mine is a 2.4 liter, and then this is a 2.7 liter. And I'm actually here to replace this on mine. I have a 2016, so it needs a new fan clutch. Uh, the clutch, I guess, is this, this metal thing that it, the plastic is mounted to. It's got two little bolts to hold your cover on uh, and it's still got the 134A I know the USA they changed their refrigerant we're still on 134A we're keeping it simple over here that's your brake booster and your ABS module. I don't really know what some of this stuff is.
I'm not a diesel expert. I don't know what that is. The turbo's on the other side. And then this, this is just the air intake, I guess. But the, fi the filter is over there, so. That's the air filter. I don't know. Your wire bundle, wire, wire harness bundle. And your computer is over there. There's your wire harness bundle. And that goes, of course, to the back of the vehicle. There's your exhaust, heat shield. And these, these are pretty strong because it's new. Mm. Loud. And then they, they made the symbol look like a plastic cover. Okay. It takes a lot of force to close the hood because they hydraulic lifts on it. Oh, and here we have a thing up here on the top. That's the conduction sticker. That's what they do in the Philippines. Uh, all vehicles have conduction stickers on them. But it's pretty nice. I'd like to get this thing. I just don't like the JBL speakers on the on the, on the dash. I think that's kind of tech. Some people may not mind it. I guess they want to highlight that it has JBL. Probably sounds pretty good. I think JBL is the partner of choice for Toyota. This is also, uh, it doesn't go up and down like a GX or an LX. The, it's, the, the right height is not adjustable. But it looks pretty nice though, I like it. Of course, see there's a conduction sticker at the back too. That's registration type stuff. And you got a backup camera on it. It's got everything you need. This uh, does not open, this glass does not open, which I don't, I really never use that anyway, so don't need that. There's your camera. And your spare tire. And your undercarriage. It's a rear differential. Uh, it's got four wheel disc on it. So you can see a little closer if I do like that. Pretty simple to change the back ones out. There's your rear stabilizer. And your um, towing. If you want to get pulled, you got a hook right there to put, hook it up. I don't know if it has a splash shield or not. I mean, uh, oil pan protector. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's pretty dirty under here. Oh, somebody's been driving it. Oh, that mud. That's your transfer case right there, isn't it? Well, it has a four wheel. That's a alignment adjustment. And your transfer case a little closer up. Oh, somebody's been driving it. There's some mud. That's where your, your, um, your, uh, the body is mounted to the frame. It's body on, uh, frame. So this is the frame and that's where they mount the body to the frame. There's four of these, I think. And there's your frame. Solid frame. Uh, that's your gas tank. There. Okay. It's really nice. Are you checking the tires, Tony? They drove it. Uh, they drove it around. It looks like probably a test drive. Pretty nice. And this one again is you got to convert that. It's around like how much is that? A dollar? Like forty thousand dollars? Sheesh. It used to be much cheaper. I think it's like forty to fifty thousand dollars, but it, one point five million is the old price. 
So when it first came out, it was only 1.5, and then that's only like 30 grand, 25 to 30 grand, brand new. But this is now 2.5 million.